Greetings fellow geeks and welcome to another Pandora's Geek Box. Today we're going to be unboxing Zbox. And this month's Z Box is September's theme, which is sidekicks. Now I'm not going to bore you with all the details of um the Z Box and all the subscriptions. I've done that before, but what I will do as always, I'll leave a link down below and you can check them out for yourself. Um now I do highly recommend the Z Box, they are great boxes. Lately, um, though the quality has dropped slightly, there have been a few sort of complaints from people doing unboxings that uh, the quality of the items inside the box have been a little bit on the low side. Um, but when I received my box in the post, it did feel quite weighty. So I'm hoping Zevi have listened to some of those complaints and they're actually gonna give us a slightly better quality box this month. So without further ado, let's get the box open and see what we've got. Right, now in these boxes you normally get sort of about four items, sometimes five, just depends. Um, got the bubble packaging as always. I've got the t-shirt. Usually start with the t-shirt, it's the best item to go for. Uh, we have a Batman tag. Oh, that is nice. We have got, in fitting with the psychic theme, a Robin t-shirt. So you've got Robin in um, sort of different fighting poses on his motorcycle. But yeah, it's quite nice. I like the blue on the black. That's actually quite nice. So that's a nice t-shirt to start with. It's nice that Xavier have actually uh, given a box dedicated to the superhero sidekick as opposed to, you know, the, the main superhero character all the time. It just sort of makes things a little bit different. Um, we've got a couple of big boxes in here. Let's have a look. I'll grab this one first. Oh, okay. Okay, we have a Batman. Is that a Batman bill? I'm not familiar with this style. Um, it says Batman Odyssey number one. So I'm guessing that is the comic series that the car comes from. So I'm not familiar with that style of car. I've probably seen it in a book somewhere. But I know there are um, many variations of the Batmobile. Um, is it one because it's sidekicks? Is it one that Robin had? Or. I don't know. You guys are going to have to feel me on this one. I'm not familiar with the vehicle, whether it's Batman's or Robin's. Uh, yes, do feel me in on the details of that one. But I like the backing card as well. It's um, The backing card is like 3D. Um, I forget the, the name of it. Um, you know, when it sort of moves slightly, it gives you that 3D effect. And in the background, you do have Batman and Robin, and it looks like in the corner here, um, Man Bat, possibly? Yeah, it looks like Man Bat in the corner there. So that's quite a nice little word, uh, sort of graphic background for the car there. That's a really nice figure. I used to collect toy cars many years ago, not so much now, but it's nice to get little collectibles like that. So that's definitely a plus point for this box. I can tell already the quality has uh, increased compared to last month's. First like we've got a graphic novel in here as well. Oh, a leaflet there. Uh, oh, we've got the Flash. Uh, let's just have a look at the back. This one is called Rogue War. And uh, Macabre theft has ignited a war between Keystone City's most dangerous villains, the Rogues. Wally West, the Flash, finds himself unable to choose sides and powerless to end the conflict. His only salvation may come from a most unexpected source, from a man long dead. Showcase number eight. Originally published as the Flash, number 220 to 225. And as usual with Zavi, it is one of the um, Eagle Moss uh, graphic novel collections. Um, yeah, I mean, I've got a few graphic novels that I've had in boxes um, recently. I haven't had a chance to read through them all. Um, but not being familiar with DC, I am really intrigued to read through some of these. I've got some Superman ones. I've got Superwoman. Um, I'm, I think I've got a Green Arrow one that I've received in a box. I must really catch up with them. Um, but yeah, it's always nice to receive a graphic novel in a box because these are usually around £10. Um, yeah, ten ninety nine for this book. So, I mean, that's half the cost of your box already, just in that one graphic novel. Um, that should be one more item, yeah. This, is, this feels like it could be a figure. 
Oh. It doesn't look like it's not Cryptozoic. This is Iron Studios. It's one of their mini co figures. We have Hermione from Harry Potter. Let's get that in focus there. I do love the Minico series. I do like the artwork they put on the sides of the box as well. Um, now, if you saw my last video, which was Zavi's um, Mega Birthday box, um, I received the Pennywise It black and white variant Minico figure, which was amazing. That was a really great figure. And I do really like the Minico figures. Um, there is a series of figures called Cos Babies as well. I think they are Hot Toys. I can't remember. Um, but I'm not as familiar with these. But I do like these mini co-figures from Iron Studios. Um, I've seen a few on Xavier's website that I really want to collect. Um, they are really nice. They look, you know, they've got a good size to them. They're nicely detailed and they look sort of, um, sort of quite well built, if you know what I mean. Um, but there are quite a few on the website. Um, so I'm hoping Xavier are going to start giving away some more of these mini co-figures because they are great. And you can pay anything from 15 to 30 pounds um, for these mini co-figures depending on you know who it is the size and things like that um yeah that is a really great figure to receive in this box um i do know a harry potter fan i don't know if i'm going to give it to that person because they love harry potter or if i'm going to keep it because i like mini co-figures i don't know i'm tempted to keep that for myself just because i love the mini co range um that's difficult i'm going to, have to think about that one I do like that one. That is a good item to get this month. Um, anything else in the box? There was a leaflet. Let's have a look at the leaflet. You've just received a new Minico. Get yours by by subscribing to Zbox at Zavi. So we have the leaflet there. So I'm guessing that means in this box we could have either had Hermione or Ron Weasley. So it either means you would have got either one of those or there's a chance we could get the other one next month. I think that means that you've got either one or the other in the box. Um, Minico brings to life the most beloved characters in unique and original form. And just as a button there, you may also be interested in these. So there's a few other figures. You see what I mean? You've got like Captain America, you've got Aquaman, there's Harry Potter there. And I know on Xavier's website, um, they do have a Lord of the Rings range, which has not long come out. And as you know, guys, as a big Lord of the Rings fan, I'm keen to get hold of those ones as well. Um, I'll just show you at the bottom there. I will put a link to this as well. Um, but yeah, there's like uh, the website and uh, Facebook page uh, on there as well. So I'll put links to those down below. So if, like me, you're interested in the Minico range, uh, do check those out. Um, but yeah. It looks like they could start putting Minico figures in their Z boxes. Um, and seeing as the last couple of boxes have been a little bit kind of low in quality, this could really push Z box back into the high quality box category again. So I really hope that they start to put other Minico figures in their boxes. Right, guys, typically just got to the end of the video and the darn battery ran out. Um, I was just coming towards the end. I literally had two minutes left and the screen blacked out and said battery depleted. So I'm just gonna get through those last two minutes. I basically got up to giving a quick overview of the box and my opinions. Um, so let's just get straight into that. So the Z box for September, I've got to give it two thumbs up this month, uh, especially compared to last month, which was a bit mediocre. Um, this month's box was absolutely fantastic. Uh, couldn't fault it. Um, Minico figures, really good. I'm really hoping that they continue to put more Minicos in these boxes um, because they're a really great collectible and I would like to get hold of some more as well. Uh, so that'd be a great thing to receive in these boxes in the future. Um, so yeah, keep it up, Zavi. Um, quality is shot right up again and I hope you keep up these standards um, because you're heading in the right direction. Um, so that's it, guys, for this week. Um, I'll leave a link uh, down below to Zavi's website, as always, and I'll put a link down to the Minico website and things like that as well. Uh, don't forget to subscribe as well if you haven't done so already and do hit the notification bell so you will be notified of any future videos that I upload and please do leave a comment and like as well. Um, so once again thanks guys and I will see you again next time.